incredible knack for this finishing kick <laughs> with only being 5-5. Five, five. We've touched right. on it a little bit before, but go ahead and tell me again what it is that you think helps you propel yourself at the end of a race. What is it that helps you get that acceleration? <laughs> well, um, I have a big heart. I mean, literally, I have a big heart. I was in the study with Dr. Coyle from the University of Texas, and um, we actually did two studies, and, and my VO2 max is very high as well, one of the highest ever recorded from an elite athlete. And it turns out that my heart is the size of a seven-foot man. Um, kind of crazy to think about it when you see me and, you're five, and I'm 5'5", five, five, and I probably don't even look like an athlete if you just saw me at, at the store. <laughs> um, but yes, my heart has been something that has helped me kind of propel myself and has helped me win all these races. I mean, without my heart, there's no way that I would be doing this. I mean, just, there's just no way. Um, but, I mean, this, this big heart didn't just happen just overnight, of course. Uh, of course, the talent was there. A lot of things and attributes were there, but I still had to put in the time. I still put in, had to put in the hour, well, the, hour, the time and the hours, a lot of hard work, and make sure to really eat the right things and do the right things to have a safe and ha have a happy heart. Do you have concern about your Mexican-American community and also Hispanics in general who tend to have a high rate of heart disease? Are you worried about people and what happens when they have bad hearts? I do, I do. I mean, especially um, I worry about my mom and dad and, and my brothers and sisters. Uh, in the, in the, within the Hispanics, there's, there's a lot of high blood pressure. There's a lot of diabetes. There's a lot of obesity. And of course, I mean, heart disease is, is just a killer. Um, so I, I definitely worry about them and I hope that with with my Hispanic background and my Hispanic upbringing literally I mean we love we love we love the Mexican food I mean it's great you know but you also got to remember that you have to be able to get outside and and exercise and do the right things and and um, yeah of course take care of your heart and so because of this passion you have, you've recently teamed up with THI, the Texas Heart Institute. Can you tell us a little bit about what you're going to be doing with them? Yes, yeah, so um, I'm really excited to start this, this, uh, this partnership team. I want to say partnership team because that's what I feel like, like it's going to be. And it's really to promote this health and fitness, having a healthy heart. Um, I mean, it is something that I truly believe that we need, in, I mean, especially within this, the Hispanic community. I mean, of course, they, they have it. For everyone, I mean, it's uh, on their site. They promote Spanish and English, um, but um, for me, I think I really want to touch on the Hispanic people, um, especially because of the high rate of, of everything, of all the the high heart rate, or excuse me, the the, the high blood pressure, um, the cardiovascular disease, the diabetes, and. I mean, it's the number one killer in, a lot, in many things and areas. So I heard there's other two other T ringers that you're going to be working with. Yes, um, yeah. Texas Heart Institute. <laughs> yeah. So so it's going to be it's going to be, um, it's going to be founder Dan Cooley and President James Will Willerson, which I'm really excited. Both former UT athletes, um, and of course, um, it's that Texas pride. Great.